people listening uh, or watching who've not been, uh, who've not served in any military, I think there's one uh, mystery about uh, the military life and about war. It's the necessity um, that soldiers have to only, and commanders, to worry only about their casualties. I remember President Reagan, uh, I think, uh, quipping after the Libyan raid, asking if there'd been any American casualties when he was told there weren't any. Uh, well, of course, he was happy, and, th and that is the rule of the game. Um, you worry about your own uh, when you go out there. And, um, but to people who, who, who watch us, who, who, don't, uh, who haven't played that game, who haven't been in it, um, there is something um, perhaps contradictory there. Um, doesn't the soldier ever worry about casualties on the other side? For instance, how do you feel about the 100,000 um, Iraqi dead? Well, first of all, nobody knows how many Iraqis died. Uh, everybody is guessing, and I've got to tell you, that being somebody that knows more about than anybody else, I'm unable to attach a number to it, and so I find it, I find it hard to understand why everybody else is coming up with their own numbers. I don't think Iraq has released any numbers, and I think the only way we're ever going to know how many people died, and I'm not proud about the fact that anybody died, but I think the only way you're ever going to find out how many people died is, is to hear from the Iraqis' families whose sons didn't return. But having said that, having said that, you've got to clearly understand that nobody detests war more than the people that have to fight it. For that reason, the book makes it very clear. I made it very clear in the media every single day before we went to war that I would have been delighted to see a peaceful outcome, and that's what I was hoping would happen, because we who have been to war know how terrible it can be. Secondly, I am very proud of the fact, very proud of the fact, that rather than letting it drag out day after day, week after week, month after month, we were able to get it over with very quickly, thereby saving literally thousands of lives, not only in the part of the coalition forces, but also on the part of the enemy, because the longer it goes, the more casualties you inflict. Having said all that, okay, the ultimate responsibility of a military leader when he goes into battle is to accomplish the orders that he has been given, the mission he's been given, with the absolute minimum loss of life on the side of his forces. Sometimes in order to do that, you have to inflict more casualties on your enemy. But believe me, remember, that was not a war of our choosing. 